I'm Dr. John Lernaga with the UT Health East Texas Breast Care Center. And here are the top five questions you need to know about mammograms. The recommendations for mammography differ according to different organizations. The majority of health institutions will recommend yearly mammograms for all women beginning age 40. If you are a high risk patient, it may be required or recommended that you get mammograms yearly in addition to yearly MRIs alternating at six month intervals. Women who are designated as high risk will have a lifetime risk calculated at 20% or higher and that's done using various computer models. Not all centers or facilities are equipped to do that, but for those that do, they can identify those women who are at risk and do require special attention. Unfortunately, Technology does not allow for that. No matter what type of mammogram you get, whether it's a 2D conventional mammogram or one of the newer 3D tomosynthesis mammograms, they all require compression. And that simply is to allow us to better spread out the tissue and identify subtle abnormalities that could be missed otherwise. Women often ask if they still need to get mammograms or if they need them as often if they don't have any family history. And the reality is 85% of women who get breast cancer have no family history or any other major risk factors. And so yes, every woman, regardless of their family history, should get yearly mammograms. In women with implants, the patient needs to have a little bit extra time set aside to get her mammogram done as they will do two sets of pictures, one with the implants and one with the implants pushed out of the view. And so their mammograms do last a little longer. When a woman comes to get her yearly mammogram, about one out of 10 women may have an abnormal mammogram that will require them to come back in for additional testing. The vast majority of those women will have no abnormal findings, no cancer found, but about one out of 10 of those women who are called back in may require biopsy or at least surveillance of the finding that was noted on their initial screening mammogram.